Hello. So I did my monthly Omaha steak shopping. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys what I got. I have most of my usual stuff. And then I got a few extras. So of course I got my pot. It's, I always call it um, roast beef. But when I go in there, they're like pot roast. Yeah, pot roast. So I got two pot roasts because these things are so good. Y'all know I talk about them all the time. And they were having a sale, of course, because, you know, I ain't going to Omaha Steaks if they don't have a sale. The thing about Omaha Steaks is that the stuff can be a little expensive, but usually if it's on sale and you're buying this and something else with it, then it's a lower, a lower price. So we got, I got two of these and all this stuff will last me a month um month or so and then i got the brisket burgers which i had last time so i got eight of these they in the box so good and i know it's beef but for some reason i don't know it's just like it doesn't even taste like beef I, it's like smooth i have no other word for it but smooth so i got eight of those and on. these are actually these are beef bistro steaks actually i got these free so from all the stuff that i bought these were free so i don't know what the big deal about these are but they were free so hey so i got four of those free so that was something new now i got these which are pork and bacon burger so you know i eat a lot of bacon because i do low carb so i do mostly meat so i was like oh great pork and bacon so i'm assuming that it's gonna taste like sausage i don't know i don't know i'm a little cautious about it but i was like let me try it I haven't seen it before it's bacon it's pork i know people don't eat pork but i eat pork so I'm assuming it's gonna taste like sausage. But a little bit in my head, I think for some reason, like it's gonna give me a heart attack, but it's not gonna give me a heart attack. Just something I think about. I'm gonna try it. So I'll let y'all know how it tastes. Cause I mean, it's bacon. This is a new thing. This is um pulled pork. So it's pulled pork, it's in this thing here. And this just probably cooks pretty quickly. One thing about Omaha steak stuff, it cooks very, very easily. So this is smoked pulled pork. You just keep it frozen. You can micro thaw it if you want and then microwave it and microwave it. Or you can thaw it and put it in a saucepan. So I guess you don't put it in the oven. You just thaw it. And if you put it in a microwave for three and a half minutes, or you can put it on the stove top with a cup, a fourth a cup of water for 10 minutes. And I was cautious about it because I didn't know if it was going to have like barbecue sauce or something on it. But it does not. So it's just the meat. It's like the pot roast. So it's still zero, um, zero carbs. So this is a new thing that I tried. Oh, these are for the kids. The kids, not me like um the veal beef patties so i got that for them not me because they are breaded and it probably has five thousand carbs in it let me see how many carbs it has these have 22 carbs for one so the kid will not ever eat these all right i think i had a piece of it once when we first started getting them um, I had a piece of it and it was pretty good, but the kids will love them. They're very easy to cook as well. Just put them right in the oven and warm up. So it's a good deal. And I think they're just like $20. They're like $19.99. But this is another thing the kids like. It's potatoes au gratin. So it's these little potato, potato balls. I don't, they, I don't know. They love them. What are these? And, um. Even this here, one of those potato balls is 17 grams of carbs. Again, the kid will not be eating them. I gotta go to Lytle and get some more of my regular ribeye steaks. Um, and then I'll be set for the month. I got these chicken sausages, which are really good. I got these from Costco. Um, and they are only one gram of carbs per one sausage. And so they're fully cooked. So I keep them in the fridge. It came with two of these. So I keep them in the fridge. So I just pop them in if, you know, from having a steak and, 
or if I'm having, you know, a burger or something and I can just add this on to, to add up to the meal. So, um, these are really good at Costco. They weren't expensive. They were on sale for like, I think seven or $8 maybe no more than 10, maybe, maybe some, maybe close to 10. I'm not sure, but they're very good. They were worth it. They lasted quite a bit, a couple of weeks. So that was my Omaha Steaks haul for the month. And that'll last me pretty much the month. I supplement here and there with some pork chops or something like that, or um, maybe go out a few times. But the main meals, along with some extra steak that I have to get at Lytle's, that's it. That's why I love this. Nice and easy. All right.